Hi, my name is Jeremiah O'Neill, and today I'm introducing the game Zork. Zork is a text adventure game that was developed in the 80s by students at uh, MIT. They went by the company name Infocom. It was uh, developed using an interpreter called the Z Machine, and the Z Machine works by taking verb and noun commands and interprets that information uh, into uh, information that can control the uh, character. So in the game you start outside the uh, White House and uh, at the White House there's a, uh, a mailbox um, so you would uh, open the mailbox and uh, inside would be a leaflet and the leaflet would uh, describe um, give just a little bit of information about the game and then um, so Zork is an adventure game it's uh, based on uh, just exploring so you're trying to figure out you know what to do at the house and you know how do you get into the house is probably going to be one of your first questions and then eventually, once you get into the house, um, there will be th some things, including a lantern. So the uh, lantern is this uh, famous thing that's in the game that um, it actually, um, there's a movie that was created uh, back, I believe, in 2009 called uh, Get Lamp. And it all kind of stems around this uh, lantern and um, how, um, you know, there's a group of people who uh, played this game, you know, back in the 80s, and, you know, they kind of explain about, you know, their backstory and, you know, how they uh, felt about, you know, the game and, you know, how, you know, games were, you know, back then, and uh, how computers were back then, you know, so this is like the era of the Apple II, uh, the Commodore 64, um, you know, back when the DOS was a, a big thing, uh, disk operating system. So, you know, back before uh, Windows when, you know, we didn't have, you know, graphical interfaces. So, um, in the game, um, you can see, um, you know, I'm exploring the kitchen, um, turning the uh, lantern off uh, because the lantern has um, a finite amount of energy in it. So, it's, you know, it's a kerosene lantern. And um, I'm trying to conserve as much kerosene uh, as possible because uh, there is no other kerosene uh, lantern in the game. Um, eventually, I will find alternative light sources, um, but for now, um, you know, I'm preserving this amount of light because most of the game is uh, in the pitch dark, and um, you can't see in the pitch dark, for one. And there's also uh, something uh, lurking in the darkness called a, a Gru. So um, if the lantern goes out, then uh, you pretty much are dead. You can't, you know, dead in the water. You can't, you know, go through, you know, 90% of the game. And uh, you won't be able to uh, explore past that. So um, I just picked up my first piece of treasure, and now I'm uh, killing the troll. So there's, I believe there's about three or four uh, entities in the game um, that um, have, you know, their, their, they have their own meaning and, you know, own purpose and, um, you know, they're um, things that are, um, that you have to contend with in their own, in their own way. Um, now I'm at the dome room and this is one of the puzzle elements, you know, how, you know, there's a railing. Um, but there's no passage down. How do you uh, traverse down to the bottom of the dome room? So um, I was able to do that, and now I'm picking up the coffin, and I'm um, picking up my uh, next piece of treasure that I'm going to have to figure out how to bring it uh, up to the uh, surface. Um, and there's an altar, and there's a, there's a hint if you want down from the altar, it said you haven't a prayer of getting the coffin down there. So that is a, it's a hint that means uh, if you pray at the altar, it'll take you back to the top, to the surface. And uh, now I'm taking the coffin to the canyon. And at the end of the canyon, there is a rainbow. And um, 
this is sort of there's like a, a cereal brand I believe called um, um, Trix I believe it's called and there's a rainbow at the end of the rainbow a uh, there's a pot of gold or, or Lucky Charms actually so it's like the cereal of, of the 90s and 80s back then and um, so if I take the scepter out of the coffin and I wave it at the rainbow um, then you know, magically this pot of gold appears at the end of the rainbow. And, um, that is my next piece of treasure. So I actually have two pieces of treasure at this point. And, um, so, uh, just, uh, something to note uh, as I, uh, venture back to the, uh, traverse back, back to the, uh, White House through the, uh, through the clearing of the forest, uh, you can play this game right now if you go to www.we6jbobbs.org. This is my uh, bulletin board service, so it's at www.we6jbobbs.org. Uh, uh, you can actually play this uh, right now for free, and uh, it's uh, Zork is a uh, game that you play uh, by yourself, or you could play, you know, with people, you know you know, congregating around the uh, computer screen. Uh, this happens to be a multiplayer game, so you can actually play this with uh, other people who connect to the same server as you, and uh, you can watch as, you know, your friends explore the game. Um, and it's a, it's a game that really uh, it resembles, um, there's this old movie called Indiana Jones, and, you know, it kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones, and he's, you know, going around and, and exploring these, uh, these temples and, and, you know, finding all this, you know, these artifacts and things, and, you know, he's trying to figure out how to, you know, go, go through the puzzles and grab these artifacts and take them to the surface. So, you know, it's, it's a game that kind of resembles that. So now I'm uh, turning the lantern back on. I'm going to be going back down into the underground. So the majority of Zork is underground. Um, and now um, I'm going to be uh, heading next to, I believe, uh, Flood Control Dam 3. So there's a, uh, there is, um, let's see, the round room is, is sort of a hub of the game. And uh, it's a, um, you know, everything kind of branches from there. So the... The dam is up north of the uh, of the round room. There's a room that it, everything where everything echoes to the uh, east and the south was the altar, and to the west is a maze room, um, and it also heads back to you know m most most of these paths uh, head to the uh, to the uh, White House in some form of, of another. Uh, most of them go through the forest though, um, but now I'm doing one of the puzzle pe puzzles. Um, there was a, um, a room, a maintenance room, where there was a, a yellow button, a green but button, and a blue button. And through trial and error, you have to figure out, you know, what do the but different buttons do? So you push one button and something happens. You push another button and something happens. And it's just through trial and error that you're able to figure out, you know, the yellow button is the one that allows you to turn the, um, turn the, um, the bolt around the, you know, using the wrench. And that's what lifts up the um, the dam, so that a little bit later in the game you're able to traverse down the uh, this uh, it's a canyon that's down there that's currently flooded. And by uh, by opening the dam, you're able to let out all the water so that you can actually go down there and take a uh, a raft down the uh, the uh, canyon. So now I am heading. Um, back, it looks like I'm at the temple, at the altar, and I'm taking all these items here. Um, I was able to get some um, matches from the uh, dam as well, and this is something that I needed for this area. So most of the items that are in the game uh, that you find on the floor will be needed somewhere around the same area that you're at. So like the candle, the book, and the bell are all used in this part of the of uh, in the Hades area, so you know Hades is like a, a hell, and um, there's uh, spirits down there, and you have to do all these things. You know, it's sort of you know through trial and error, um, 